Hi, it's Jamie again. Um, so today I thought I would speak to you about sleeping position. Okay, this is a really common topic. A uh, lot of things, a lot of people sort of ask me which position is best for for my particular injury. So I'll have a chat with you about um, some of the different types of sleeping positions that are better for certain conditions. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll find a little bit of benefit. So if you are struggling with any sort of injuries, then hopefully this information will help. Okay, so generally speaking, um, foam pillows tend to be better than feather ones, in my opinion. Okay, so um, you'll tend to, whether it's a memory foam or whether it's a normal foam pillow, I don't think there's an awful lot of difference between the two. Um, some people ask about the, the sort of memory foam shaped pillows. Okay, so they can be quite good if you have quite an unstable neck that, and you tend to have a, a tendency to wake up a lot in the middle of the, uh, wake up a lot with a acute sort of neck pain or a crick neck. And if that's happening repeatedly, sometimes I find that the, the shaped pillows that really kind of cradle the neck and keep the neck in quite a neutral position can be quite handy. Um, the only thing I would say is depending on what position you sleep in will depend on um, how you have the pillow set up. So normally those shaped pillows are actually quite low and they're more suited and uh, designed for you to sleep on your back with the, the ridge sitting across in the sort of the, the nape of your neck in here. Um, so that kind of keeps your head in a quite neutral and, and uh, upright position. Um, if you're sleeping on your side, then you need a little bit more height. Otherwise, what tends to happen is the, 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 the head will come down. You tend to pinch structures on that on the side that you're lying on. Um, so what I would suggest in that particular circumstance is maybe to have a smaller, thinner pillow, even a feather pillow, but you know, generally a thin foam pillow underneath or on top of the uh, the shaped pillow. Uh, normally underneath would be better just because you're, you, you, you keep the benefits of the shaping, shaping of the pillow. So they can be quite helpful. They're not suited to everyone. Uh, a lot of people buy them and don't get on with them. Uh, I've tried them myself. Didn't really sort of help for, for me. I found them a little bit uncomfortable, but I have other patients who, who swear by them. So, so they are fantastic. So if you are struggling with a kind of repeated neck problem, then uh, the, the shaped pillows can be quite helpful. Okay. So as a general sort of rule, um, the best positions to sleep in are either on your back or on your side, depending on the type of problems that you have. Um, sleeping on your stomach, although it can be very, very comfortable for certain people, it's terrible for the neck and the lower back. So when you tend to sleep on your stomach, quite often the head is sort of turned to one side, the head is up. So you've got this kind of, cr this kind of cr crunching and pinching of the neck on the side that you turn to. Um, and very commonly people wake up with sort of like little cricks in their necks from that as well, okay? So ideally not to sort of sleep on the, on the stomach with uh, if you have a sort of a, an ongoing sort of neck problem. Um, the other thing is that when people sleep on their stomachs, quite often they will kind of twist their lower bodies to bring one of their knees up and that can cause this torsion through the lower back and actually sort of compress the facets. And that again can irritate the lower back if you, if you have a sort of a facet joint history of uh, problems with your lower back. So again, I'd be very careful of that. So generally speaking, I would say sleeping on your back and if you sleep on your back, I would usually recommend just the one pillow. Okay, for most people, one pillow is high enough and a foam pillow is, is better. Now you don't want your head to be sort of too propped up like this. So two pillows would be, you know, putting quite a lot of strain, particularly around the base of your neck, maybe at the top of the neck. So you want the head relatively in line with the rest of the spine. Okay, so one pillow is usually sufficient for that. Okay, now um, some people, um, uh, they have quite a rounded upper thoracic spine, particularly sort of um, older people sometimes, uh, and the head kind of gets pushed forwards. Now sleeping with just one pillow there in that position would be, you know, they wouldn't be able to sort of relax their body down. So sometimes two pillows is recommended for people who have quite a rounded upper back, okay? So um, that can be quite helpful. Now sleeping on your side um, generally is probably, uh, uh, again, is one of the better positions to sleep in. Um, you can either have one thick foam pillow, depending on the distance between your shoulder and your arm. So if you're having the pillow like this, you want to try and keep your head in a neutral position. You don't want it sort of too propped up and you don't want it sort of too flat down there. Again, you're pinching or, or stretching certain structures. Now for most people, certainly um, bigger people, I would say 
Um, probably having two pillows is probably more helpful um, or maybe one foam, thick foam one and one thinner one. Um, again, it's just trying to get that height between your shoulder and where your neck is. And I've also had the neck of the pillow right down into the nape of the, into the nape of the neck. Don't sleep with it like this, with your shoulder actually on top of the pillow. That will actually sort of uh, compress the neck and the shoulder even more. So avoid doing that, certainly, okay? Um, if you're sleeping on your side, um, I think you can also uh, find uh, quite, a, quite a good amount of benefit if, you're, if you have sort of hip problems, particularly. So if you've got a bit of an arthritic hip, I would certainly suggest sleeping on the opposite side to your hip problem, um, having a pillow put, it, put between your knees, okay? That will keep your, uh, your hips parallel, your pelvis parallel, and it will also stop your hip from sort of sliding over and compressing into the position which it quite often gets painful in. So that would be quite helpful. Um, now, if you haven't got one of these sort of shaped pillows and you want to have a little try of something before you go out and buy a pillow, or one of these shaped pillows, because they are quite expensive, what you can try is um, a little sneaky thing. Okay, so you can take a towel, decent size, you roll it up. Okay, so you've got like a, a sort of long sausage sort of shape, not too big and not too hard. Okay, and then what you can do is you can just tuck it into the front edge of your pillow. Okay, so it's kind of side on, you can see it's on this edge of the pillow here, okay, and it's just sort of sitting there like that, okay, and what you would do is pop it behind your head and that ridge would sort of sit in the hollow of your neck, okay, uh, and that can again just sort of be quite helpful for people who wake up with a crick in their neck, um, very often when, when people are uh, in acute neck pain, which I'm going to be talking about soon, um, that position with a, a little rolled up towel underneath the neck can help to sort of give a little bit of support for the neck when they're sleeping and can be quite helpful. Um, so those are the general positions I would recommend and uh, with regard to sort of pillow use and sleeping position. Um, I hope that you find that helpful. Now, the golden rule really is what really is you feel com most comfortable with. Um, so uh, sometimes people sleeping on their stomach, I would try and uh, sort of swerve away from that, but sleeping on your back or on your side, either one, whichever one's most comfortable for you. I find with some patients who sleep on their back, they get sore ribs, and that's usually because their partners are jabbing them because of the snoring. So um, that's another appreciation, which can be a little bit of a challenge for some people. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I hope you're all well, stay well, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Take care now, bye-bye.